Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your man Jamar. Come to you guys today with my very first YouTube tutorial on how to do this uh, t-shirt design here. It's very simple. Anybody can do it. And we're going to do two variations of that today. So just follow along. Real simple, like I said. And I'll see you guys over at the screen. All right, guys. Let's hop into this tutorial. So this right here is pretty much the finished design right here. Uh, as you see, this is kind of like the blind effect, is what I call it. Uh, basically, whenever you just crop the text, and then this right here is just a really bold font that I kind of scratched out a little bit to give them a little bit better presence. So, um, yeah, so this is pretty much a simple design right here. I put it on a black background that way you can, you know, kind of see it uh, because it will go on a black t shirt. So, you always want to. Uh, design on whatever kind of garments you're going to be printing on whatever the colors so yeah this is just a little basic design that I did for a gaming group um, that's what they call themselves so yeah so yeah all right so I've already got a new uh, canvas open over here and I'm working out of a 15 by 15 and these are the two fonts right here that we will be using today so like I said you just want to take Put a rectangle in here and I want to take the stroke out. I'm going to need a stroke on it. I mean, so now you just want to go here and you want to make that wide enough to where it can you know, cover the whole canvas here. So now First one we're gonna use is this uh, text right here. And you can get the, you can get both of these texts, uh, or fonts, I mean, you can get both of these fonts off of uh, the font.com. These are both for commercial use, so there's no harm, no foul in that. So, what we wanna do is kinda of discourse this out a little bit. And I'm gonna turn the text over to white, the way we can see it. And we wanna just type out type out the name all right and then we can take our selection tool and we can size that up all right so now that you have your text that you want for the first uh, font here now you want to go control J control J and uh, I didn't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, but I am using Affinity Designer. Like I said, you can use any uh, software you want to to make this design. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it'll differentiate depending on what kind of commands you got to do. So basically, now you got you know your three tags. Now you want to go to Layers, or you can hit the command uh, Control Return. And I'll create these into uh, curves. That way, we can actually, you know, manipulate them. So here, so now that we got all of those converted over to curves, now what we want to do is go over here to our vector crop tool, and this is pretty much what makes this design the way it is. And as you see, you just take it from the bottom here, and you just go up until you got something like that. See how it's kind of chopped? And then now, let's zoom in a little bit. Not too much. Now you just want to grab the second one here and do the same thing, but you want to go probably until about right there. Let me reference my other one. Yeah, let's see here did a little bit more on that one so you definitely don't want to see the bottom of the G and then let's see here all right so that looks good right there now you just want to press shift and then go up with it until you get it about where it needs to go and in this one right here you're pretty much not going to do anything to it just gonna you know just 
get it all the way up to the next one that you did and you kind of see right here where it has a little bit of that bottom G right there I don't want that so I want to go back in here and go up just a little bit and now that pretty much does it for this design right here and what I usually like to do is go ahead and get everything and then you can go ahead and align everything Oops, didn't want to do that You pretty much align everything spaced out pretty evenly. So I don't like how they did that. That's the reason why I don't, when it comes to things like this, you kind of, and you can see I still got some right there. Let me, when it comes to, you know, just spacing out evenly, you kind of just want to do it by feel or how it looks. So, We'll go up a little bit on this one and that's pretty much it for this design right here and this is grabbing every single one of them so if I don't really quit this idea we don't want to grab the rectangle <laughs> and to group all these together the hotkey is control G and now to center everything up, just center that to the center of your, of your canvas, and that's pretty much it for that. So there's your first design. My second design, I'm gonna take the text tool, probably do it at a hundred, because when I go over to Rockwell Bold or Extra Bold, all right, and I put that in all caps. Uh, the whole gang all right so now we want to press shift and then we just want to ah, not shift but we want to go control and go out with it I'm gonna center that back up and then give it a little bit more presence what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of not holding control kind of scratch it out a little bit And there it is. And that's pretty much this right here, but we're not done yet. And the cool thing about Affinity Designer is that you can also add textures to it. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go over to the Pixel Persona, and then we're gonna go to our brushes, which is these brushes are stock in here. And we wanna go to Grunge. And I think I used the Grunge 4. Yeah, yeah, that's what I use. I use the Grunge 4 and the brushes over here. And then now you want to do your paintbrush tool. And to do a bigger swipe of it, that way you don't have to go over so much, put it at about 15, over here, about 1500 pixels for the width. And you just want to cover over top of it. So. When you first want to do like a layer masking, it will say, hey, we're gonna you know, add a layer mask for you. So that's what that message is right there. So, and the color we wanna do is gonna be black. That way it gives it a presence. And now you can see the brush over top of there now. So just wanna lay that over top of there, click. Lay it over top of there, click. Lay it over top of there, click. And just lay it over there again and click. And if you want to get a little bit more grunge, I just kind of go over a little bit more until I feel like it's where I want it to be. And there you go. And if you look at your layer mask here, I should have a pixel layer as you see right there and that is basically mask inside of here inside of these letters and that is pretty much it and as you see you got two simple t-shirt designs t-shirt designs here and uh, like I said it's a very easy design sometimes you can just be simple and do letters and then add some some uh 
like textures to it. I mean, I like textures a lot. Uh, I like the wash styles and everything like that, or the faded. So that's something that I really like to see on certain designs. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial right here on this simple design. If you like it, comment you know below or if you see something that I did wrong or you have a question about affinity design or maybe a process is you need just you know message me or you know hit my social medias up in the uh, bottom and yeah uh, bottom of the description that is so yeah <laughs> so all right guys hope you enjoyed this and yeah all right so that wraps up the very first video today on how to do that simple t-shirt design if you guys got any questions just comment or leave me a message you can shoot me an email i got all that information in the uh, description and also you can hit me up on social media as well i have those in the uh description below so thank you guys for joining me today and be on the lookout for some more stuff in the future see ya